Um, I'm going to let Abigail kick us off. Abigail, please take it away. Hello, hello. It's so good to see everybody. My name is Abigail Chandos. I am your ASW SUG present, president. I almost said presence. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. So I'm going to get into a little bit of information about what ASW SUG is. So the Associated Students of Washington State University Global Campus, or ASW SUG, is composed of WSU Global Campus students who help fellow students by distributing reimbursements, organizing face-to-face -face and virtual events, addressing student concerns, and building a sense of community. ASWSUG SUG was the first student government in the country that was created to help provide representation for students earning their degree from a distance, which is a super cool accolade that we have there. So my role as president is to serve as the primary representative and advocate for the needs of the entire global campus student body to faculty, staff, administration, community groups, and within the Washington State University system. So I am responsible for the success and the organization and direction of my team. Uh, this year, it includes my vice president and six directors who are the director of communication and compliance, director of diversity, director of events, Director of Finance, Director of Legislative Affairs, and Director of Promotions. I work to make sure my team has the support necessary to succeed and work with the campus administration to move the organization's mission forward. So our main goals this year are to increase engagement within the student body, as well as spread awareness to the resources we provide. So along with the many events we put on, we also provide opportunities for reimbursements for a variety of things, including childcare, groceries, uh, technology, mental health and wellness, travel, uh, WSU sporting event tickets, honor society dues, and cap and gown rentals. And we're always looking at the needs of the students there as well. We'd love to hear any uh, recommendations or needs that students have where we could potentially create new reimbursements if there are enough students are needing um, additional support there. That, that's something that we can look into and allocate funds for. And those funds come from um, SNA fees, which all students pay into. So these these are your dollars, our students' dollars that are going um, back to helping students. So we, we love to be able to help out where we can there. Um, so we also, like I had mentioned, have a lot of events that we put on. We do a ton of virtual events. Uh, a wide variety of things. We do movie nights. We have a lot of crafting events this this year. Our director of events is uh, very artistic. And so we we put on those crafting events of um, come and learn how to do this craft with us or come and just show us what you're working on. We love, we love to see everybody's crafts. Uh, we have our Cougs Get Literary monthly book club, which I run. Uh, our September meeting is actually tonight. And I'm very, very excited for that. Um, that's my little uh, passion project this year. Uh, we do information about lobbying and voting. We have some um, some events in the works. They're not quite ready yet, but for FAFSA and budgeting, um, lots of different events that we have going on. Those events can be found at the Global Connections calendar. They can be found in the bi-weekly newsletter that everybody is emailed. Uh, that, that can be found on our website and also on our presence page. So presence is an excellent tool that we have for um, compiling all of the events that we put together. Um, if you register for events and show up to them, you can earn presence points as well, which is just another little incentive that we have for uh, engaging with us. Uh, you can use those points towards a variety of swag options. And we also love giving out freebies. So if you attend our events, if you, if you win one of our games, or if you show up, or if you're one of the first 10 to register, we love to send you free stuff. So uh, that is another opportunity for engagement with us. Uh, these, these events are also just an opportunity to come and meet your fellow Cougs, to meet the board, to uh, express your needs and concerns. And we also have designated office hours that work for that as well. So every other Wednesday at uh, 6.30 p.m., the next one is coming up on September 20th. So next week um, for an hour, we have our Coug Chats. We typically play games on our Wednesdays. So Jackbox games, um, which are just a fun time, but that's also a time, again, to connect, express your uh, concerns, your needs, anything you want to talk about, really, with your board. 
And then the other uh, date and time is every other Monday at one o'clock. So we just had our most recent one a couple days ago. Um, so the next one would be the 25th of September. And that one is a little more relaxed. We usually do thought provoking questions. We do would you rather uh, just kind of getting conversations going. Those are always a great time. Um, and then we also have our weekly executive meetings. So those are every Thursday at six o'clock p.m. Oh, I am so sorry, my little kiddo we came in. Buddy, I need you to go. Mommy's in a meeting, okay? I love you. Not right now, okay? So sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I love you. Yes, this is <laughs> so sorry. This is one of the great things about Global Campus though, right? <laughs> so um, as I was saying, executive meetings, weekly executive meetings at six o'clock every Thursday. Um, so that is your chance to come and see your student body government in action. That's where we give our little weekly breakdowns of what we've been working on. Um, any votes that come up, that's when those will be made. Um, so that is open to the public. Anybody is welcome to attend. We'd love to see you. You can sit and watch and see your student government in action. Um, another great way to contact is email. So um, my email is global.prez, P-R-E-S, at wsu.edu. Um, you can reach out to me with any questions, concerns, anything, really. Yeah, if you want to reach out, get involved, you just want to chat, um, you have you know, a question, but you're not sure who to go to, you can come to me and I can help you get in touch with the right person. So that is my little spiel. Sorry again for the little interruption there. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Dave Soleil, who is our global campus chancellor. I almost said good morning, everyone. I guess it is afternoon after all. Um, you know, we've been doing these town halls, I think, for just under 10 years. And when we first started looking at doing these town halls, it was it was an opportunity to share um, information about what's going on, but really saw these as an opportunity to get feedback, uh, hear perspectives, suggestions, ideas, concerns from our student body. Um, and when we first started this, uh, I think they allocated 40 minutes for my uh, remarks. Um, now I think we're down to five, which is appropriate. So the idea is that you don't need to hear me ramble on. Um, I'm more interested in hearing from you that if you have questions, again, ideas, suggestions, things that are going to make us better, um, we, we want to embrace continuous quality improvement um, every year, every semester. And honestly, our students are the ones that really have brought not just ideas, but concerns to our, our attention and that we're able to address those and make that experience better. It's not going to be perfect, but but we feel as if we can get better every semester, um, that's better. And I, I do think looking at global, um, we're a very different campus in so many ways and not just the delivery mechanism, but it's, it's the experience and the individuals that make up that campus. We're not a it's not a negative thing, but we're not a group of 18 year olds. Our average age is around 31 years old. Many, many of our students are working professionals. Some of them, Abigail, have child care responsibilities that they have to take care of. It's, it's a different population. We've got students in 48 of the 50 states, uh, 38 or 37 countries represented. Um, so again, we're, we're different. But the one thing that is common is we're cougs. We're all cougars. And I, I tell you, one of my highlights aside from this event, is going to our graduation ceremony where we get to we get to see those students that have graduated, hearing their stories. Um, I mean, it's just, it's so inspiring. We had students in from Belize, from New York, from Florida, all over the country flying in to participate in this face-to-face. -face. And again, the one common theme is they are Cougars. They see themselves as Washington State University graduates, not global graduates, not Pullman, not Tri-Cities, not Vancouver, the Kooks. And that's that's really inspiring. And again, those stories. I, I've got to share one because I know many of many of the folks on this town hall today will remember this one. We did a we did our graduation ceremony in Everett. And we had um, I, I don't know, we had it, we had seats set up for 450 or six, I don't remember. Anyway, we had close to eight, over 800 people in, in this room participating. It was really exciting. But the highlight for me was we blended a virtual and a physical graduation ceremony 
pulled it off really well. I had nothing to do with it, but it was it was it was wonderful. We had a student graduating virtually uh, who had signed up for graduation. His wife went into labor on the day of graduation at like two or three in the morning. And they thought, well, you know, maybe we just might not do this. They agreed, no, 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 we got to do it. And so he graduated from her hospital room with their newborn baby in that room. It was, it was so, it was so cool. Uh, I, you know, I, it was, it was a lot of fun. And that's just one of thousands of stories that, that we get to tell and we get to affect. So I've rambled on long enough. Um, I do want to highlight uh, one one of the things that Abigail brought up are these opportunities for students to connect, not just with faculty, but with one another. Our global connections program within our, our and the student government activities are really designed to build that campus-based experience, but virtually. And so the things that have just impressed me, an asynchronous 5K run, scavenger hunt, book club, but the one I always reference that I, I don't know how you pulled it off, but I saw the video and it was really fun, was a virtual dance party. And, and the students got on and they were dancing and listening. They had a DJ and they're listening to music. And so it's, it's I, I, think, I think those type of experience are as important in a college education as going to class. There's so many things that people pull from those type of experiences that are part of their educational journey. So anyway, um, I know we had a couple pre-questions. Uh, 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 Aaron, I think if you could get to those, that'd be great. Uh, and then anything else that, that you all want to talk about, please, please let me know or let us know. And yeah. maybe I had the format wrong, Aaron. I thought you were going to ask us the question. Yeah, great. No, that's perfect, Dave. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, Aaron, are you ready with those questions that you we had pre-submitted? Yes, so we will start with Dave. Given the pandemic era developments in remote working, co-working, and the emphasis on internships, undergraduate research, and networking in grad school admissions, how will WSU make these opportunities accessible for global campus students in the upcoming calendar student year? Yeah. Um... Well, I would I would argue that we've been doing that for years. Uh, it it may not be universal, but that has been part of the educational experience through you know service learning, um, through internships, uh, four ninety nine research opportunities. Um, those opportunities are available to students. the The challenge for many of them is finding a faculty member that wants to engage in that type of activity outside outside of a classroom. And so um, we we work hard to try and find those experiences for students. But sometimes it takes a student just going to a faculty member and saying, hey, I'm I'm interested in this. And are you are you willing or interested in working with me? So it is it's outside of the structured academic classroom experience, but those are things we are trying to build into continually into that uh, you know that educational journey. Uh, as an example, um, our, our uh, colleagues in the Department of Psychology have done a wonderful job of preparing their graduates to enter graduate school, doing those things that are gonna make their portfolio competitive with all students, regardless of, of how they received a mode of, of education. So again, long-winded way of saying, yes, agreed, we need those and we're doing those things. Thank you, Dave. And uh, a reminder to anyone, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat and we'll ask them as well. Another question for Dave. What tools does or will WSU use to identify and support global campus students dealing with mental health issues, stress, or substance abuse concerns, given the nature that our format is asynchronous and remote learning? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Um, we have been we've been wrestling with this for again years. One of one of the biggest challenges we well before before I go there, I, I wanna I wanna recognize um, our student support uh, folks and particularly recognize our vice chancellor for student affairs, Debbie O'Donnell, uh, who's been working really hard over a long period of time. Uh, to provide these services to students. You know, in the past, providing mental health services uh, was challenging because those mental health providers had to be licensed in the state 
where they're serving the students. And we've got students all over the country, all over the world to try and find those resources. Uh, we've partnered, Debbie's team has partnered with the Pullman Campus Student Affairs Group uh, and has identified a tool uh, called um, Protocol Plus, which is, allows students to receive counseling where, wherever, they're, wherever they're at. Um, we still have one-offs where we hear folks that have needs, like Abigail was saying, those folks will come and we'll try and address those needs. We're still trying to create a larger system of support. We've got a ways to go, but we've made a, a long stride from where we were when we first launched our launched our global campus. Oh, and the one the one thing I missed on the last, I, I'm sure I missed several things on the last question, but one thing the students should think about is CIRCA, Student Undergraduate Research Opportunities. Global Campus students participate in that. Um, I believe that's a, a end of March, early April um, activity, but that's something you can prepare for and participate in, in student undergraduate research. Thank you very much, Dave. Moving on to Abigail. What steps would you recommend for Global Campus students interested in starting new RSOs or clubs? Yeah, of course. So um, RSOs are registered student organizations, just in case anybody didn't know that acronym there. Um, so I know that Andrea is hard at work to create a website with all that information, all those steps. So that should be up soon, soonish, hopefully. Um, but in the meantime, all questions about that can go to, to Andrea. Her email is global.advisor at wsu.edu. Um, yeah, we, we love to see the interest in creating these clubs. We've already had some, some buzz going on. I know that there um, is an LGBTQ plus club that is coming up, first generation student club. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm so excited to see it. So any questions, go, go over to Andrea and we'll get that website up and running pretty soon. Great, thank you. And so if any... If anyone else has any questions, please put it in the chat. We do have a question that just came in. I'm curious about any new degree programs that we may be working toward for delivery through Global Campus. Yeah, um, that was Doug. Yeah, Doug, there's there's some really exciting, some really exciting opportunities that that we're working on. Um, I guess I can, I can, we're still in preliminary, preliminary conversations, um, but thinking about uh, an undergraduate degree in computer science, um, looking at um, uh, digital culture and literacy as a potential um, degree program. We'd really love to see cybersecurity and social work. Sorry, Kelly, I know that's um, a hot spot for you, but we're working towards those. So yeah, th there are there are some really exciting degrees that that we're looking at. Uh, one I'm really interested in that we've been we've been exploring for a while, but it seems like we're getting closer and closer uh, is is a undergraduate degree in education that allows for elementary ed teaching, uh, which I think could be really really impactful. Um, uh, our vice chancellor for academic affairs uh, has been working with uh, the biology department with our associate. Uh, Vice Chancellor of Strategic Partnerships around um, uh, a degree. Um, I can't remember, Kelly. I, I don't. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. It's around construction management, sustainable um, uh, uh, development. But it, that that could be that could be really really impactful. Thanks for putting me on the spot, Doug. Appreciate that. Kelly did add some uh, things in the chat as well. I think you said it all correctly, Dave. Um, so yes, thank you for that. Any other questions? Love these great questions. I also want to let you know, um, Presence too is a format that the students will be using and, and do use for finding student orgs and student clubs also. And I heard someone ask, about um, mental health and talking about, we also have a student group, Cougs for Recovery. So those Cougs that have are on whatever journey of recovery, whatever that looks like for them, they can get together with other Cougs um, on that same journey too. So I wanna give a shout out to that club as well. Um, they also can be found on presence with the other groups. Oh, thank you for that, Erin. Any other questions? 
and again, when we started this, the idea was this was your time. And so uh, we'll be here as long as you want, or if uh, you don't have any other questions, we'll be here as short as you want. So if there's anything else, love to address it. If not, um, you've got 35 minutes back on your calendar. Yes, thank you everybody for being here today. And of course, you know, always reach out via email to anybody. I mean, we can always help you. And if we don't have the answers, this global campus is very good at finding those answers for the people. So thank you again, everybody. We really appreciate it. Um, this will be recorded. So later on, you can always check back and review it if you've missed something. Um, so thank you again, and please check out those calendars, check out those events. You all, all are welcome because you all are Cougs. And so we want to connect with you. We want to build that community. So thank you so much for being here, everybody. We really appreciate it. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Have a good afternoon.